I've always thought that I never had a mother-daughter connection with my mom. When I was a teenager, my relationship with her always went wrong. We almost fought about everything. We didn't talk much with each other about our feelings. Until she had a stroke and lived with it for almost five years and passed away. All that I felt after that was regret. Every time I had a problem and didn't find the answer, I'd always wish that my mom was still alive and on my side. To give me some advice, or maybe just to cry on her shoulder, just like any daughter with her mother when they have a problem. But I couldn't. I had to face the world without her. I became a very independent and active woman. I was always working and doing stuff since I was a teenager. I participated in several organizations, making music, hanging out with various communities. I love to meet new people and learn something new. Making my brain work made me feel alive. And suddenly, I was living in a foreign country. I didn't have any friends. I didn't have a job. I didn't have money. I didn't have time to create something. My life was dependent on others. I felt stuck, alone, and worthless. And I couldn't even help my father's financial problems as I did before. It made me feel that I'm nothing. But one night, when I was laying down in my bed, the picture of my mom was in my head. I flashed back the moment when she struggled with her stroke. A part of her body was not working properly. And slowly, it became almost her entire body. Then I imagined how that it felt to live in that body, totally stuck, not able to do anything without somebody's help. My eyes were crying, my heart felt pain, but my head was finally open. My mom never showed that she was sick. I remember she always smiled every time I came to her room. She always laughed every time I told her a joke. And she never complained that she was stuck. She never complained that she couldn't do anything. And then I thought, how can I always complain about being stuck? I am not stuck. I still can choose. I still have a life, breathing, moving. I still can do whatever I want to do. It's just about choices. Am I just going to cry, try to be a good person and stay only for a few people? Or should I run free to help more people and make myself happy too? It's my choice. Now I know that I have it. I have that connection. My mom didn't need to talk to teach me. She gives me an answer for every problem. Just to be patient and to be grateful and thank God for what I have today. Thank you, Mama.